The Empire's on the run. I'll answer it straight ahead, folks. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure these sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives Gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee. And it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press. All the while enjoying a truly great-tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. Alex Jones here with a message to fellow freedom lovers. The prognosis for the entire planetary economic system runs from bad to worse. The globalist model is to shut down societies and starve patriots out until they acquiesce to the global takeover. That's why we've assembled the most vital and important preparedness items at InfoWarsShop.com. These are items that I did research on, that I personally use. You've got the life straw, so you can turn fetid water into safe water anywhere you go. The KTOR hand crank generator to charge up key equipment during power outages or out in the field. Strategic relocation, third edition by Joel Skousen. When disaster strikes by Matthew Stein. Therosafe used by Homeland Security to protect yourself during any radiological event. Hand crank shortwave AM FM radios. Everything that we've researched and found to be the best is available at InfoWarsShop.com and your purchase makes our InfoWar possible. We're getting prepared. Are you? InfoWarsShop.com in the last 50 years, iodine has been phased out of our staple foods and replaced with the halogen bromine, a practice now banned in nations around the world. Guess what else is in the halogen family? Fluoride. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here. In 1924, the federal government did the right thing and encouraged salt producers to add iodine. It's the good halogen on the periodic table. And the results are on record, reports documented, a 15-point IQ increase in areas that had previously been deficient in iodine. Bottom line, iodine is important. Unbound, clean, in a glycerin base, nascent iodine was the answer for myself and my family. You will find Survival Shield nascent iodine exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWars Life Survival Shield nascent iodine isn't just for emergencies. I take it every day. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. <laughs> Waging war on corruption, it's Alex Jones. Okay, responding to the last caller's question and trying to hurry on to your other calls. It's very, very simple what's going on. There's different competing globalist programs of economics. And they're profiting and consolidating power through all of them. You have the IMF and the World Bank on the top of the planet, along with the XM Bank and the Organization of Economic Cooperative Development, the OECD, that sets global standardization. We're already in a corporate global government. They're phasing out cash. They're trying to get national and regional and state laws passed worldwide through continuity of government and continuity of agenda to not let people be free and independent and local and to phase out cash and to phase out barter. And when you hear about the Amero that was proposed in Money Magazine back in the 80s, 1989, and it's been promoted on CNN and things, we would then talk about the Amero, the planned North American currency, and they would say, oh, you're a conspiracy theorist. Well, we weren't saying even then that the Amero would end up being adopted. The point is, it was one of the competing ideas of regional currencies before a global currency. But that was discussed in the 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s. 
And then Lou Dobbs picked it up in the last decade and things. We're already under global currency with this special drawing rights, derivatives, credit default swaps, and scores of other synthetic financial instruments that are simply fancy, accepted establishment counterfeit. If you go back to the Bank of England 300 years ago, they would have 10 pounds of paper money out there for every pound of actual British sterling silver in their vault. And so that became the global standard in fractional reserve banking that countries would not allow their banks, both government or private, to loan out more than 10 times the paper for what they had actual metal. That's where checks started, going back into Egypt, going back into Rome. You would have a piece of paper with the signet of the Lord or the Caesar saying, this is redeemable for 500 cows. Now, let us rent your 20 ships or whatever to take this grain to Alexandria. Hypothetical. So it's a system past barter. And then the Rothschilds 500 years ago in Germany, they began to get really good at having gold pawn shops everywhere and then doing a form of payoff of local lords of letting them bring them gold and stuff, but checking out 10 times or more actual Rothschild paper than what was actually in the bank. And then not making them ever pay it back. So it was a form of buying off government, form of bribery. And then you'd have runs on banks where people would try to bring their paper back and there wouldn't be enough gold or silver in there to redeem it. But it wouldn't matter because the local lord had already been given massive amounts of wealth from the fiat system. And so he would station his guards. Sometimes it would be brigade level, thousands of troops outside of the palaces of the banker and outside of his regional uh, pawn shops. And that's what we see today. But they want to transcend completely the fractional reserve banking. So in the last 30 years, worldwide, they've, they've stopped doing that, which let them take over. And they've gone to just pure counterfeit derivatives and other systems. Now, out of the crisis that's created, they want global cashless society backed up with 100 trillion every few years of carbon taxes, Tobin taxes, money transfer taxes, wellhead taxes on all human activity paid to them to enshrine value in it. it they're also debating whether it'll be partially gold-backed. Uh, it's going to be a spectrum. This is what it's going to be because I've, I've covered Davos. I follow their writings. It's going to be a spectrum of commodities they can manipulate. Oil, sweet crude, gold, silver, palladium, um, you name it, the whole spectrum. And then a spectrum of carbon and a spectrum of uh, other, other indexes they can play and manipulate as well. And then everyone will be tied into this global digital panopticon control system and they'll tax you for every transfer. Again, as the Tobin tax for every credit under the wellhead tax, uh, global, regional, local, it, it'll, because computers can divide it all out. So everyone will get behind it at the government level, getting their little cut of VAT sales taxes. It is going to be unbelievable. And it's going to transfer the wealth to the select corporations that write the laws that will be partially or fully exempt from the taxation aggregate model. It is the total form of slavery, total form of, dis of total uh, unfair weights and balances, uh, inequality. There are not really words to describe the magnitude of the global plan. So they're going to bypass the North American Union currency entirely. They have a North American uh, travel ID. I don't know, was it five, six, seven years old? That people that get a, signed on to this can travel to Canada, Mexico, or the U.S. back and forth. You'll have regional flavors. You'll still have dollars. You'll still have pesos. You'll still have uh, the Canadian money. You'll still have... But it will all be digitally demarcated in the larger system. Kind of like there's, last time I checked, 15 different regional Sports Illustrateds. 
magazines you can get or video subscriptions. It's the same deal, but it's all Sports Illustrated. So everybody's looking for a chip in the arm. It'll be your face scan you buy and sell with. Everyone's looking for, uh, you know, some big brother thing. It's already, you're already carrying it around and paying 500, 300 bucks, 200 bucks for it, a smartphone. So it's already here. We're already in it. It's already going on. It's already happening. You know, I told you they'd use this big drone rollout to have a freak out about drones. Then, then they would ban citizens having remote control airplanes or helicopters. And now as a gimmick, they were delivering beer and ice to ice fishermen. You know, flying, flying the beer at, 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 at 100 feet or even lower. The video I saw looked like 50 feet out to ice fishermen. Totally legal. There's no FAA regulation uh, below 300 feet. But they're now imposing it, shutting it down. And that article's up on Infowars.com uh, with Steve Watson uh, with the video right now. Beer drone uh, viral prompts slap down from government. Company owner finds himself on FAA blacklist. See, you got ice fishermen out there. And, and, and I mean, I mean, look, that drone is at like 15 feet, totally safe, bringing a 12 pack of brew with a camera. And uh, it's a total gimmick just to have a viral video. And then the, and then the uh, blonde comes in to the guys and, you know, they're all having a great time and they're ice fishing and she drinks a beer. And then the government comes and slaps it down, just like the girl that was baking cupcakes at home and selling it. And she ended up in the paper. So they send basically militarized zoning people there saying you've got to own a bakery. You can't do this. The idea is you can't have a garden in your backyard and sell fruit now. You can't have chickens in areas where you could have chickens. This is Agenda 21, the opposite of sustainability. And I told you, somebody will try to deliver stuff with a drone, they're going to ban it. Government shuts down 11-year-old cupcake business, but the NFL is tax-exempt when they make billions a year. I mean, well, of course, they're part of the mafia. And they put Obama in the NFL intro. And they say guns are bad. They say Obamacare is good. And they're a big gladiatorial diversion. They're our new culture. So, of course, they're exempt. Google, Microsoft, Apple. General Electric, the top Fortune 100 are almost completely tax exempt. Learn the facts, Jack. And they're the ones lobbying for higher taxes on the middle class. They're the ones lobbying for open borders. Gee, they're the ones lobbying for Obamacare. Do you think everything they do is to screw everybody? But oh, now be nice to the immigrants. They're so sweet. Legalize them. We already legalize more than any other country. And as soon as they get here, they're indoctrinated to hate America, to hate guns, to hate the family. And to love Gardasil and to love aspartame. Let's go ahead and talk to Dax in Utah. So, so I hope I answered the guy's question. Dax in Utah, uh, you're on the air. Thanks for holding. Hey, Alex, how you doing? I'm all right, brother. Thanks for calling. Yeah, um, I, want, I just wanted to basically make a comment. Um, but basically, everything you said about the, the illegals, there's, there's way more than 12 million illegal aliens in the United States. There's easily 35 to 40 million, but they never want to come it out. It was confirmed to be 31 million like a decade ago. Well, yeah, and I'm I'm here in Utah, and we're I mean we're just overloaded with them. I mean, you go out, you go to any place, and you I hear more people speaking Spanish than English. I mean, look, there's nothing but Spanish signs everywhere, and and my whole issue is again, I don't even I shouldn't have to qualify this. It's the fact that they're literally being turned into Democratic Party operatives and voting to literally make me their slave. And, I mean, it's incredible. I mean, where in history can they bring in foreigners to then use a voting system to enslave everyone? They're, you know, they're, 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 they're the Republicans are never going to get, they'll never, they'll probably never be another Republican president because, you know, they're, 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 all these red states are going to turn blue. And they'll, they'll, they'll vote them in. And another uh, comment I have is, um, uh, it's been several years ago. I went. They they had a big rally down in Salt Lake. Uh, there was there was at least easily over a hundred thousand illegals protesting down there for their um, for their citizenship. And it was kind of funny. Uh, I listened to you every day on the radio, and you had uh, you had the the, the, the mayor of uh, of Salt Lake, the Rocky Anderson. Yeah. You were you had him on the radio with you, and he he was one of the main guys leading the group. He was 100% in support of it. He, he led the entire...